Okay, let's create a toggle button now. Now, I referred to it as a two-state toggle button, which ostensibly, of course, it is because you've got the on-off state, but technically it's a three-state toggle button. So remember that because you've always got the disabled state. So let's create a new document in Photoshop, and I'm going to go ahead and create a little box shape here. So I've got a custom shape set up. And I'm actually, no, I'll use a rectangle. So I'll, what I'll do is I'll go to a new layer here and create a rectangular shape and choose Edit Stroke. There we go. That's an easier way. Now I'm going to choose our shape tool and I'm going to use this little check mark to add a little check mark inside my box. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and rasterize that and center it in there. And that's going to be the checked state. I'll name that layer Checked and I'll name the basic layer Box. Now let's go ahead and create a new layer here with a shape in it of an X. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and center that as well as I can here. Might have to zoom in and bring it down by a pixel or two. There we go. And then I'm going to take the opacity of that layer and set it to somewhere around 25%, so it's grayed out. Okay, there we go, and that's going to be our disabled state, so I'm going to go ahead and type on there, disabled. All right, so we've got our three basic states for our button here, and we can go ahead and crop to this rectangle and just export our images. So we're not going to have any transparency in this particular button because it's a, a basic check mark um, toggle button or a check box if you like. So let's go ahead and save our first state which is our blank button with nothing inside it. We don't need the transparency check but we'll still save it as a pink and we'll call it box. We'll go ahead and activate the checked layer and then we'll export that as checked. Now we'll activate the disabled layer, get rid of the checked layer and export that as disabled. Okay, we've got our images. We can close down Photoshop and we're ready to launch our button maker tool. So we'll go into a Autoplay Media Studio and we'll choose Tools, Button Maker. I'm going to bring that image window down again so I can see my desktop and drag our three images into our images pane in the lower left. Again, I'm going to start by dragging the disabled image in and that's going to take care of all six panes including the disabled areas and we can just drag these other ones in. First thing I'm going to do here is get rid of our text as it says click here on top of our button. We don't want that for a toggle button. Once I've done that, I'm going to go ahead and change the type to toggle. Alright, there we go. Now we don't have that text overlapping and we can finish our button. I'm going to drag the box ping into the upper left and upper center panes and the check ping into the lower left and lower center panes. Now in the preview pane you can see our button is working just fine. So we've got our checkbox, it's ready to use. Let's go ahead and export it. You can also enter your copyright information again and do all those other things here. Um, obviously here the fonts are not an issue because we don't have a label on it. Let's go ahead and click on our save icon and we're going to save this button as toggle. Okay, so we've got our working toggle button from start to finish. Now you can use any shapes you want for this and uh, obviously you could even use photographs and for example gray out certain states and things like that to create uh, really dramatic buttons for your projects and presentations. But let's go ahead now to the next video tutorial where we'll take a look at how we can use the buttons that we've made in these last two videos.